Hi, this is Mariah Gullo from The Hollywood Reporter, and I'm in studio with Francesca Eastwood today. Hi, how Hi. are you? I'm very well, how are you? Good. Um, we're here to talk about your new movie that you're starring in called MFA. It was um, premiered at South by Southwest. Yeah, it premiered at South Jury by... the Award? It, it premiered at South by Southwest uh, in March, and, and then we just went to Hungary, and we went and had a screening in this festival in Hungary, and we won oh, wow. the we won the uh, audience award. There. Amazing! Congratulations. Yeah. It was really it was I mean it was nerve wracking. The difference between the screenings, the, you know, the first one it was a super young crowd. It was it was like you know the target audience, I mm -hmm. guess. And right. then and then in uh, Hungary it was you know it was, it was a wide range, like a lot older, a lot uh -huh. you know, real, and real film lovers, and it was just yeah. kind of uh, a trip because they liked it and. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, it's kind of important to get, um, I mean, just because Hungary and Eastern Europe is such a big part of um, the film industry now, yeah. with all of the filming that's done over there and all the, like, there's like a grand tradition of cinematography that comes from Eastern Europe, so mm. to, and, and I did notice that the film is quite beautiful. This, Shots are set up very mm. nicely, so I can see how they would they would like it. Yeah. And of course, the subject matter is very European. I mean, the subject <laughs> matter was what kind of made me. I mean, I was well, I'm always nervous whenever I see it. But, mm -hmm. um, I'm like, I saw it two days ago, and I was nervous. But <laughs> yeah, oh, let's talk about MFA a little bit. It's yeah. a psychological thriller, um, written by a woman, directed by a woman, starring a woman. Um, you. Uh, did you think about that when you came on for the role that this, uh, that this is kind of part of the Hollywood buzz that like more females should be directors and we should get more of a female point of view in movies? Not at all. Uh -huh. um, I agree with that and yeah. I feel that way now. But at the time, I just at the time I read I read the script and, and I was hungry for you know going on a journey with a character and playing a character that um, you know gets to go through kind of a wide you know, a transformation, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word, and and I read the script and it was flawless. I mean, Leah McKendrick, who stars in it as well, um, she plays my best friend, uh, Sky, and she she wrote it. It was just it was one of the mo best, most perfect script I'd ever read. I mean, it's all cut up now; it's a little different, mm -hmm. um, but it, it still turned out it's turned out very different than I expected. But yeah. I'm very proud of it. Um, this uh, this movie um, it is a psychological thriller, and I know it's mm -hmm. really tropey to say, but how did you prepare for the role to step into that character? Because she, like you said, she yeah. goes through a wide range. There's a lot of kind of um, uh, allusions to like a very mentally unstable situation happening. Yeah. Uh, did you prepare? Uh. <laughs> like, because you had to go from playing like super innocent and shy yeah. to you know, basically a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, um, I just, I didn't even think of it like playing a serial killer. I mean, it, in my mind, it was just, you know, it was, a, it was more of a drama, really, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and there were a couple scenes that were, you know, were fun, more fun to shoot and stuff, and they had that, all right, like this is, this kind of action-y vibe. All right, I'm gonna get into this a yeah. little bit. <laughs> yeah, um, so that was cool. Uh, but when I, when I start, I mean, I just did it, your basic, like, I, you know, acting stuff, like, come up with a backstory and, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah, the, yeah. You, you don't hear about her background at mm -mm. all. You don't mm -mm. know about her parents or whether she's rich or poor, like, she's yeah. an art student. Um, she's really like a blank, kind of a blank slate and then the uh, or a blank canvas if you will yeah <laughs> um, and then the paint starts coming on mm -hmm. like the character gets painted on um, how important were, were was the artwork and just kind of stepping into the role of an artist to like kind of create that character for you well I feel like you know it, Noelle's journey she she's raped and when she confronts you know her attacker obviously something happens and it's uh it's you know it's it's devastating emotionally and spiritually and mentally um and what attracted me about it is that okay how do you heal from that like how do you how do you turn the the, the adversity in your life or the things that are painful or things that are hard into into art or into into work or into something where it's an, an outlet and I feel like 
this film was very much that way for me, and it, it, it's it's uh, the equivalent of Noelle's painting, you know, mm -hmm. but being having a voice and um, trying to do something that uh, that is positive in the in the world or makes people think or mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Um, but the artwork was really important. I mean, it was I I, I was blown away by the artwork. Yeah, it it was really beautiful work. Mm. Um, the the movie kind of reminds me of a couple of movies from my childhood. Um, there's a little homage to Heather's. There's a mm -hmm. bit of To Die For, and then Hard Candy. I saw like all three of those movies kind of in it. Did what uh, movies kind of inspired you when you were working on this film, or did you? Um, gosh, I know N N Natalia, our director. She had. She was very specific. I mean. It, she was very specific about her style and her mm -hmm. look and her vibe in it, and I I didn't really think of anything else. I mean, it's the it's a boring answer maybe, but I just was like I, I signed on, and then two weeks later we started, mm -hmm. and so I was just all right. How do we make this real? How do we get this care? Like, how do mm -hmm. I get in this zone and stuff? And uh, you know, the the haircut was a big change yeah. and so that was really helpful and uh, I had a wonderful wardrobe Tika who did the wardrobe and stuff like really created the character with me and stuff and we kind of yeah, is, is the character kind of stylistically a mashup between you Natalia and Leah probably yeah, yeah I think yeah absolutely I mean it, we literally we looked like so similar on set the director and I all of a sudden you know in photos like we were interchangeable, but mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I think it's. I think it really is a perfect, you know, result of Leah and Natalia and me. The whole, mm -hmm. the whole thing, the whole character. While you were filming, um, were there a lot of conversations uh, about like the sensitive topic of rape or uh, uh, aggression? Um, from, uh, male on female aggression or assault or um, even like the way that women are treated differently when they report a rape mm -hmm. versus, you know, how, how you know, victim blaming. Yeah. Um, did you guys have that conversation or were you kind of like, we're going to make this awesome movie? No, it was very much, it was not, um, I mean, my vibe at least wasn't, we're going to make this awesome movie. <laughs> um, uh, I, I just... I think that what united it, because filming was difficult. It wasn't one of those, oh, this is a breeze and this is, you know, fun uh, things to film. For, for me, at least, it was a little, I had to be a little more isolated to focus. But mm -hmm. uh, it, the one thing that kept us all, you, you know, going and that was, was that we wanted to tell the story and we wanted to, to do the best job we could and we wanted to do it justice and make it as as good as, as possible, and uh, I let Natalia worry about making it entertaining, <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Um, you know, the movie is probably gonna open up more dialogue about rape. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me how Natalia actually took you through the, the rape scene itself? Um, because mm. it, to me, it has a distinctly female point of view. Yeah. The scene I'd written was was a little different, um, and we had been we sh we shot it about halfway through shooting, so the character was already kind of there. And Peter, who is wonderful, mm -hmm. um, is a wonderful actor and very professional and very kind. And uh, you know, we spent some time together. We talked about it, but we didn't we didn't really over. It, this was it was one of the only scenes that wasn't that I didn't at least it, it wasn't rehearsed, mm -hmm. so. It was kind of, you know, it was a, it was a close set, and uh, Natalia decided that we would do it. Um, just kind of, you know, just would let us. Mm -hmm. Just kind, just you know, just let it happen mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, but during the scene, I mean, it was, it was, it was intense because you know, it was we did it over and over again, and. Um, you know, I was, in my head, I, every time I've seen a film about rape, it's usually, you know, it's, 
it's in a flashback or it's brief or it's quick or it's, you know, it's silhouetted or it's dark or, and that's kind of the idea that I had in my head that it would be and that's not what it was and uh, I think that that's why, I mean, that's why, that's why, that's why I love it. That's why I'm really proud of it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's, it's hard to watch, I mean, it's hard for me to watch. Yes. I mean, I'm probably, it's like, cringing more than anyone else is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, uh, good, good art will make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And it's, we don't really want to be uncomfortable. We want, like, happy, bright colors yeah. and, you know, to feel like relief. Um, but, but we go to the movies sometimes to be scared or sometimes mm -hmm. to be uncomfortable. And, um, um, so I just really appreciate that, it, that again, it came from a female writer, yeah. female director, female star. And, um, you know, there's something, there's some truth to it. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Absolutely. How yeah. You... It, it, that, looking back now, I mean, it, it, looking back at it now, I, I don't know. It, it just wouldn't have been the same if it was anyone else. I guess that's yeah. an obvious thing. It's never <laughs> the same. If someone else, it's someone else. But it, it, it was, you know, Natalia and Lee and I are so different. With mm -hmm. We would probably never hang out if we had, mm -hmm. you know, didn't have this project. But there's this, you know, this, this love for, for the project and for, uh, this, you know, telling the story that brought us together and that trust was so critical in, you know, doing, going, going there, and and uh, and I just really trusted them so much, and I'm so glad I did. Yeah. Yeah. Have your parents seen the film? They just saw it. They just saw it. They saw it two days ago. Yeah. I would be curious to know what your father thinks of the film because he's such the master of the revenge film. It, People were talking to me about it and making comparisons after South by Southwest, and I was kind of like, "What?" <laughs> I, I didn't really get it. Um, yeah, there's there there are so many. My, my, my dad's had such a long career, um, and I know all of his current work and all of his more recent work, and I've started going back and watching uh, certain things, but. I'm still in the Western phase, catching up on that. Yeah. So I don't know really about the, the, um, the revenge, All right. chapter yet. But <laughs> I'm sure I'll, I'll find out. But uh, I, I honestly, I did not. It was not one of those things that I wanted to show my parents. Yeah, I um, can imagine. <laughs> you know, just, just the I. It just wasn't. I, you know, I was shy. Yeah. Um, I mean, but I'm you, so glad. I'm so glad yeah. I did. It was really special, you know, because yeah. I, I love this project, it. and I, yeah, and 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 it was really really nice, just, you know, getting to share. Here's what I did last summer. <laughs> like, they're proud of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What was the first movie that you saw of your father's and your mother's? God, the first one, Titanic was probably the first one I remember. Oh. <laughs> um, of my mom's, and uh, I mean, when I was growing up, my dad was shooting Million Dollar Baby, and that was the first one that I. So you saw remember. that before the westerns. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I hadn't. I, I saw. I saw Unforgiven, which my parents. It was. Mm -hmm. They made it the year before I was born, and I saw that with a, about a year ago mm -hmm. for the first time, and that was a trip. That's great. Fun. It was a trip. There might be some women looking to you for like help or guidance after this movie comes out. That often happens with people that somebody might come up to you and say, mm -hmm. hi, I've been through this too and you know, or I'm in, I'm not sure what to do. Are you prepared to to talk to them if they were to go so. up to you? I think so. I, the, 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 that's, a, that's already started a little, a little bit and um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to, to listen. I'm happy to be there for anyone who, who needs it. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're living in the age of social media, and we were just talking before yeah. we started rolling about how, you know, you, you use social media. You might be known as somebody who's on social media, but you're not really like into it the way that like some other people are. I have to. I have to, like, remember to. I mean, I I, I love it when I when I when I do it. But mm -hmm. it just doesn't instinctually come. It just doesn't come naturally for me. It's mm -hmm. Like, oh, I want to post this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I I remind myself to 
to stay on it sometimes. Do you have any tips for people who, you know, like young women who are like maybe struggling with their self-esteem and might be using self, uh, social media as a way to like kind of reach out, um, you know, where do you find like your inner strength and confidence? Cause you, you know, you don't seem to be, that doesn't seem to be as important to you, but you know, and you were probably raised with a lot of self-confidence. Like, do you have any tips or pointers? Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, confidence Asking for is, a friend. <laughs> confidence is an ongoing battle. I mean, it's, or not an ongoing battle. It's just, it's a, it's a journey. I mean, and you don't have, I, I think that the most important thing is you don't have to be confident all the time. Like, it's okay to be insecure. It's okay uh, to, to doubt or be worried about things, you know, um, just as, as long, I mean, as long as you recognize it, know that everyone has the same feelings. Like, we're, we all have the same mm -hmm. stuff going on, so at the end of the, the day, it's, um, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's 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 okay, and 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 I, uh, you know. see, I'm like it's gonna be okay. Doubting anyways. myself, <laughs> I know, right? You're like, I'm like, what do I um, say? What, what are the tips? <laughs> 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 Ooh. Um, but yeah, I'm. That's something that I work on every day. You know, it's you, like mm -hmm. you re just remind yourself, like, I'm. This is this is this is who I am. This is this is the body. This this the spirit that I get right now. Or, mm -hmm. And. Uh, Acceptance. Like the most, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, before we go, we have uh, four quick questions for you called first, best, last, worst. Okay. Um, the <laughs> first performance that inspired you to be an actress? Probably Hilary Swank in Million Dollar Baby. Yeah. I think, I remember what, seeing her get up and go and fight and stuff and um, and then seeing that the, the end of movie and I was just blown away and I was like I want to do that <laughs> uh, um, best thing about working with a female director mm, not even a doubt in my mind about should I get naked I was like yeah <laughs> nice. that's fun. there's a um, there, yeah that was a <laughs> there's so many there's so many positives I mean mm -hmm. there's so many good things yeah um, it's there's, yeah, like you said, there's mm -hmm. no doubt in your mind when you're working with another woman that you're, yeah. you're being respected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, last movie that scared you? Mm, MFA. <laughs> <laughs> um, scared you to no. show to your parents or scared More you? More scared me just, I won't, because <laughs> we just, I, it was like a, it was all my dear friends and, and, and my family, all my, a lot of my sisters and mm -hmm. my mom and my dad who I, wasn't planning on you know sharing it with but that was scary <laughs> yeah but cool yeah I'll tell you special. no spoilers but there is a locker room scene that scared the crap out of me oh my gosh I'm so <laughs> scared for that part that was all I don't yeah Natalia I mean I was not expecting it to be so thrilling and mm -hmm. so I mean, we. The thing is, too, is that we did not only had such great women on the project, is we also had so many great male actors come and mm -hmm. just be, give their all and just give time and energy to 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 helping us, you know, and to supporting the us and and you know, to tell the story. And so it was just really cool. It was really cool. Uh, worst on set accident. Okay, so there's this one accident that keeps happen happening on every set I'm on. I have this really bad habit of ripping my wardrobe, like ripping my pants. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> like the first, it's usually the first day and it's what, if I'm ever in like tight fitted pants, mm -hmm. they, they rip in the crotch. <laughs> it just happens. I just... One time it was, you know, trying to get on a horse and I was in these really tight pants and they just kept ripping. We went through like three pairs of pants trying to get this shot of me getting on a horse. And then the first time it was the first scene of a movie, Cardinal X, and I ripped the vintage Versace pants that everyone was so excited oh, no. my character was wearing. <laughs> um, but Not yeah, vintage. But, just, <laughs> but it was, I mean, it was amazing. It was, we laughed about it. It was so funny. But Were the sound editors laughing too? Did, you, did they hear the rip? It was, I, I just remember how, like, we were about to start rolling, and so we duct taped it. 
<laughs> the pants together. It was really fun. another female director, <laughs> Angie Wong, directed that, and she was uh -huh. so great. And it was yeah. So it, you know, it was a safe space, and it was cool. Yeah. Not that men create unsafe spaces. Yes, no, but, of course not. But, you know, Hollywood is all inclusive, and it's you know. The most sensitive and cool people, I think, work in the entertainment business Absolutely. in many ways. Absolutely. Um, so just to wrap up, is there anything on the horizon that we should be looking out for you? Uh, I leave, I head out tomorrow to shoot a film called A Violent Separation, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, that should be fun. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Francesca Eastwood, thank you so much for being here. The movie is MFA, and uh, it's opening on October 13th. Friday the 13th. <laughs> Bye.